a family full of superpowers? Um, you know, it, it's funny because it's like... Oh, your name. <laughs> um, obviously, I don't have the superpowers that they have, but, um, you know, I think the thing about our show that's kind of unusual is that it's never what you think it's going to be. So it's kind of like, they've got the superpowers, but, but then how do they actually, what does that actually look like? Because, you know, Jennifer didn't really want the powers, but then she got the powers, but she also seems to have more powers than the others. So there's all these, like, weird dynamics that kind of give it this extra dimension, because because they're a family, so there's that kind of power struggle between who gets what, who's, you know, who's allowed to do what. Press says to the girls, you know, his character says, girls, you know, one rule you can't kill. Just kind of like a crazy rule to give a superhero with a ton of powers. But so there's kind of like they've got this weird family dynamic of trying to protect each other. But well, I'm the older sister, so I get more, you know. So it's kind of an interesting way of doing it. I think. You took the, the go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you took the initiative, um, you know, last year with taking care of the green light babies, and yeah, now yeah. they've been. Kidnapped, you know, is Lynn going to make that her personal mission? Know, yeah, to, well, yeah, to write that wrong. Right, and I think, you know, it's interesting because, again, with the grey areas with the character, you know, I think on the one hand, Lynn does have sort of um, good intentions in terms of saving the children and, and figuring out the riddle. And at the same time, I do think that Lynn is incredibly ambitious, and I think there's something that's driving her to find out for her own self you know, work or own self needs. So I think I think there's partly kind of saving the children and there's partly kind of just a very ambitious, I'm not gonna let this rest until I solve it. You know, there's that ego part of it. So I think those two things and I think also her relationship with Agent Odell, you know, they kind of need each other. So I think that's gonna get a little bit more kind of entangled and strange, you know, because they're kind of enemies but they sort of need each other, you know. So how will the family dynamic really change because of Agent Odell and really gripping the family? Yeah, I mean, I think in season three, and again, I don't know because we don't obviously know what's going to happen. We don't get told what's going to happen down the line. But it doesn't feel like you're going to see the Pierce family sitting around the table having a family dinner for a while. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? It doesn't even feel like we're even, they're even going to be in the same room together for a while. Because I think they go, I think they're going to sort of spiral off into these different worlds as they t- as they go on their own journey. They're going to, you know, so, yeah, it'll be interesting. You say you don't have any superpowers yet. You got to get your hands dirty a little bit last season. Oh, did Is that just? something you hope to be able to do more this season? Yeah, well? I mean, I love doing, I'm always jealous of these guys because they get to do the fights and stuff. Mm-hmm. But they have to work twice as hard yeah. because... I go to work, I say my lines, then they have to go off and do the fight training and the stunt training. So it's like, it's kind of, I'm, I'm torn because I do want to have more opportunities to do that kind of stuff. But it's basically going to be a lot more work because, you know, those things take a lot of time. But we'll see. I wouldn't be in the least bit surprised if she has another Smackdown fight with someone. Because at this point, she's, she's kind of said, I'm going to do whatever I need to do. Mm-hmm. And she's done it. I mean, she killed a man at the season one. Season two, she took the pick the shotgun up again and then basically beat the hand out of Dr. Jones, almost rendering her unconscious. She had it coming. Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But she, she's she's a by any means necessary type person. Don't be fooled by the <laughs> white coat and the glasses. <laughs> Is there anyone you would love to see or have a showdown with this coming season? I mean, well, as in a fight? Yes. Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. So I was going to say, you know, Odell, but then at the same time, it's like, oh, I think it's like, I wouldn't want to punch Bill. <laughs> Do anything that's <laughs> <laughs> I think she should have a showdown with Tobias and Lynn. Yeah. That's the end of the show. <laughs> That's it. She's going to find it. And then she gets the out. spin-off. Yeah, and she gets the spin-off. Yeah. yeah. And I know that Tony, who wrote the comic, was talking about doing a whole comic where Lynn's character comes back as a British sort of alter ego. So, you never know. She might come back as a spy. And she's a spy. Insane. And how will the Markovians be playing into this? Um, I think the Markovians kind of opened the door probably to the outsiders. So, yes! Probably! Oh. Probably! That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> but that's what I'm feeling. 
I don't know if that's, yeah, that's because that feels like the direction we're going to go in. I don't know, and I don't know how long it's going to take. It might be like two seasons, but that door is open. 